So with the product rule, what we want to do is we want to take the derivative uh, of two functions multiplied to each other, like this. f of x times, uh, times g of x. Okay, and so what we're going to do here, actually, the way to do this, this is equal to, um, it's going to be f prime x uh, times g of x plus f at x times g prime at x. Now, uh, a shorter way to write this again, we could say that the derivative of f of x times g of x is simply f prime g plus f uh, g prime. Um, and also now if we had three terms, say we wanted to take the derivative of, um, let's write this here, ddx of, let's say, f of x times g of x uh, times p of x. p of x. Now we would do the same thing. Uh, we'll just write it in this term just to save some space and time. Uh, this would equal f prime times g times p. Plus, now we would move the derivative to the middle one. We would have f times g prime times p. Plus, and now we would move the derivative to the last one, so we would get f times g times p prime. And so say if we had if we had four things multiplied together, we would just keep going, uh, just moving the one, multiplying them all together, but one of them is the derivative and it just keeps moving down the line, etc. So let's do an example. Um, let's say we have, uh, we want to take the derivative of, um, let's say, e to the x times ln of x times ln of x times, uh, let's say, sine of x. Okay, so let's, let's do this. We get, um, so remember, this is going to be f, uh, this is g, and this is p, okay? So when we go to take the derivative, we, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. We talked about that in the last video. Now times, so we only took the derivative of the first one. Now we just multiply by the second two and don't change them. Times ln of x times sine of x times sine of x. Now plus, now f doesn't change, so well, it never changes, but in this case, we're not taking the derivative of e to the x. We're going to take the derivative of ln of x, which is times 1 over x times uh, just p, not the derivative of it, times sine of x. And then we'll add this to the last one, which is uh, f times g times p prime. So it's plus e to the x times ln x uh, times the derivative of sine x is cosine of x, cos of x. And that's how you do the product rule. Um, let's do, we can do another example, just one more. Let's do it with just two terms, so you just so you get the hang of it. Um, say d dx of, let's say, mm, uh, x, uh, let's say 2x cubed times, uh, let's say, cos of x, cosine of x. Okay, so this is going to equal, well again, let's write this down here, this is f and this is g, right? That's f and that's g. So the product rule says, again, uh, f prime g plus f g prime. And so this will be equal to, well, this is going to be 6x squared, 6x squared times g, which is cos of x, cos of x, 
And now we're going to add uh, f, which is 2x cubed, 2x cubed. Uh, and the derivative of cos of x is negative sine of x. So this will be times negative sine of x. And we can just uh, simplify this by saying uh, this is equal to 6x squared times cos of x. Just cos of x. And we'll just bring out the minus sign. So minus 2x cubed times sine of x.